What is up, everybody? It is John, and this is Director's Cuts. And no, my audio is not off. This is a voiceover of the actual video. None of the original audio is here in this video. But, however, I will link this video in the description and pop it up in a little corner there if you want to go watch the original. And I recommend if you have not seen this video, I actually highly recommend you go watch the original and then come back and watch the director's cut. This is Al Capone's hideout. This is um, Johnson City, Tennessee, also known as Little Chicago. It is situated virtually at the halfway point between Chicago and Miami. Now we know back in the days of Al Capone, he was prominent in Chicago, Miami, major cities. But when they were traveling from Chicago to Miami, or New York to Miami, Johnson City happened to be in this perfect location. And it was a small enough city that they were able to easily have their way, so to say. So this building here that we're in, looking at this awesome Wizard of Oz cut out, you know, we're in the basement of it, and that's where we primarily spend most of our time is here in the basement. This building was an 05 and Dime store that was owned by Al Capone himself. And the cool thing is, I'm looking at that wall. That wall there used to be access to a tunnel. Okay, And there was a series, and they're still there, allegedly. Um, I want to try to find them someday. A series of tunnels that linked a lot of these buildings. So they all had speakeasies, right? A lot of bootleg liquor and things like that was going on. And that's an awesome bowler, by the way. But, so, you know, Capone and these guys used these network of tunnels to secretly move liquor and, and different various things. Um... You know, human trafficking was a problem. Um, this room I'm going into here, due to the uh, sensitive nature of the subject that happened here, just say it was to house people who didn't really want to be. Now, I just noticed on that wall, I didn't recognize this then, or maybe I did, but I don't remember it as I'm panning. If you see right there, that used to be a door. Now, that could have led to another series of tunnels. I know this room right here was a secretive room that was sealed off that no one could get to um, because they kept people there. I'm just going to say that. Um, yeah, it was it's some dark stuff. And look at there, there's a swinging chain, just swinging for no reason. That that happens. Um, also, I want I want to say, guys, I, I do realize this is my normal new video upload day. Um, things have been really crazy uh, a lot of things haven't worked out this week um, I used to have a backlog of videos but due to things going on I just hadn't been able to keep that backlog I've had to use it um, with that being said we will be back on track next week I will be filming a lot of content over the next few weeks and I will restock my backlog so to say so that we have plenty of content. Um, I, my apologies for this week. It just, just didn't work out. Um, even was going out last night to try to do a last minute something. And it, it just fell through. Uh, with the weather we've had here in East Tennessee. And combined with other things going on. It just hasn't worked out. And sometimes that happens. You know, you put, you put pressure on yourself to, to do these things. And it, and it just doesn't work out. Anyways. To this video, man. If you haven't seen this, you need to go watch it. Because we were hearing footsteps above our heads. No one else was in the building with us, right? Uh, and they, they didn't want us filming upstairs because they were doing construction. Um, these people were putting in a new business. So they're like, you know, stick to the basement and, and maybe some of the upper floors. Which I can't remember if these are in this video or not, the upper floors. But there were some, like, apartment rooms and stuff upstairs. Um, but the basements were where a lot of the bad stuff happened. 
Um, this was the secret level. This is where people shopping at the Five and Dime did not go. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in here that, uh, that paranormal-wise, it was just crazy. It really was insane. There was... <sighs> And you know, I'm sitting here processing this. You see these like cinder block walls. That's not original to the building. That means those walls were put up. Um, and especially in this room I'm in here with that cinder block wall that's just off screen to the right. There's more to that than just that wall. If that makes sense. Um, especially seeing there, they actually had an access door to whatever was over there at some point in time. So, man, that just it strikes my curiosity so much to try to figure out what in the world is over there. Um, I never know. Um, I think this building's changed ownership since then, and I don't, I don't have... See, that wall right there you just saw, that wall is sealing off something. There's another room, there's tunnel access, something on the other side of that wall. And I want to know what it is. <laughs> so if the new owners of this place is watching, please, let's, let's do some exploring. I don't even need to film it. I just want to know. I'm so curious as to what is on the other side of that wall. I think it's access. I think maybe tunnels led into each side. Or maybe that's where the speakeasy was. You know? Who knows? It's such a mystery, and I'm trying to see if there... I don't see any, like... You can see it runs along the back side, but now, see, I can get on the other side of where he's standing. I remember that. There's, like, a weird hallway thing. And maybe that... Maybe... Maybe I did get over in that room. Maybe it's that one room where it had a lot of stuff stored. Um, it really could be. I don't know. I just know... The first wall I spoke of being sealed off you can look into that and see that it was a tunnel i couldn't get my camera like to see in the hole like i tried my best but it's just the angle was too bad um but there is there you could see it like i could get my eye up there and peek through and you could see that it was like a long hallway like structure and it just kept going into the, the black to the abyss and you know, it's just, oh man, I'd love to find a way to get into some of those old tunnels and explore them. That would be so fun. Uh, I know my friend Ray Ray knows, like he says he's been in them before. So, you know, maybe maybe one day soon I can get with him and we can go do some exploring. Um, he did say you have to do it when it's not been raining because supposedly what the city did was they took these tunnels and kind of repurposed them for drainage for the city. They needed more drainage. You know, water was puddling up in the city. So they took these bootleg tunnels and repurposed them as drainage. So um, he's like, yeah, you can get into them, but you got to make sure you do it when it's not been raining for a while because or you're going to get really wet or washed away. <laughs> So, you know, he said they flood. They fill with water. Um, which, you know, it's concerning. You know, are they still in their original condition, like state that they were, uh, what they look like back then? Or have they put more concrete in? You know, what's, what's happened? I don't know. Um, so, maybe one day I'll find out. I really hope so. But for now, I'll just, we'll just have to wonder. We'll have to wonder and imagine. But we know this building was owned by Capone, and a lot of dark stuff happened here. Um, this video had so much evidence. I mean, it, it was full of it. The video didn't do too great. It did okay, but it's one of them under the radar. It didn't blow up. Uh, I feel like it should have blown up, but, you know, it didn't. And here we are. <laughs> but it... I, I had fun making it, and it is a great video. Um, the basement was so cool. Just everything about this building is awesome. Um, 
I want to do a one tank trip of Johnson City soon and uh, maybe we'll see what's in there now but yeah I think maybe if I go through here okay so this is I think this is going to answer my question to the cinder block wall as I go into this room and if I hopefully I look left and we'll be able to tell well see I heard something Huh. Yeah, I think I could see the cinder block wall I was talking about when when I peered in there for just a second. And this is a weird kind of room here. I don't know if it was like a freezer at one point or what, but like the walls were weird and it's a weird color. I really don't know. It was definitely sealed off from everything else at one point. It was like... Now I'm seeing those like vents and stuff and the little windows to the right. I wonder if that's where they had evaporators at for like a freezer or a cooler at one point in time. Um, and that guy right there, Jeremiah from Mads Entertainment, shout out to him. He's the one that hooked us up with this place. Um, they try to get together with them and film sometime. But yeah, this place is just, it has a vibe to it. Like super super vibe I would love to get back in there some point and film again and here I think this is where it sounded like like people were just running across the floor upstairs above us and you know nobody was there it, it was just like you could hear talking and walking and we go up nothing's there nobody's in the doors are locked um, so it, it was definitely a moment, you know, when that happened. But crazy place, though, I'm telling you. I really wish I could get back into this building and investigate it properly. I'd love to do that. And, you know, we were all seeing, like, shadows and stuff in the corners. Which, you know, I'm noticing a lot of orbs on here. It's probably dusty, but... I'm noticing a lot that's kind of moving in odd patterns. Y'all let me know what you think on that. But I love these old buildings from like the 20s and stuff. Because just the way they're designed and, you know, or late 1800s through the 20s and 30s, they just, they put so much effort into the architecture of it. You know, all the, the intricate designs. Like, just look at the ceiling. Like, so many tiles in that ceiling and so much pattern work. So, look, I'm looking at, like, it's all individual little tiles. And it's just, you know, you get drop ceiling, like, foamy drop ceiling nowadays. And you, you don't get that detail like that. I mean, look how thick that wall is. Like, when they built the building, they built it to be there for a long time. Um, it's like overseas, you know, um, there's buildings that's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years. And that's because those buildings were built correctly, you know. They weren't built cheaply and <laughs> bad. Um, dang, man, you know, just, I give anything Bill, go back in here. Yeah, I think that cinder block wall there is the one that we were in earlier. Um, not 100% sure, but think so and here I am back in here at this room I don't know why but something led me back in there I'm sure I'm sure I'm telling about it in a video but um, you can see their modern water tank there water heater and uh, of course they had the old boiler system which is how buildings used to be heating you see all the steam pipes and just so many different pipes run everywhere to, to do different things. It's crazy. And it's amazing the power of steam, too. Steam can do a lot. And like I said, at the time, they were in the middle of like doing a lot of construction in a building. And that's known to like drive activity and create a lot of activity because... You know, when you start 
remodeling something, you're changing the the structure, you're changing the layout, you're changing the look of it. So, you know, if there's this residual stuff, you're disturbing that. And it causes things to kind of go crazy. And, you know, it makes a lot of sense. It really does. You start putting all, like, see all this stuff they're putting down here? It, it, it can drive activity to happen. It's, you know, we have a lot of theories out there in paranormal. Um, some stuff we've kind of proven and some stuff we still, it's still out there for debate. And, you know, I really want to try to get to the bottom of some of these mysteries. You know, that's my goal in all this. And, you know, it is fun. It's fun to see these places. It's fun to go there and explore around. But ultimately the goal is to, to figure out the truth. And 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 kind of know what happens, you know. I know we're all going to find out one day. Um, I just I, I'm going to spend a lot of time, you know, trying to figure it out and putting evidence together. You know, I, I've got a large body of work so far, and I'm just going to keep adding to it. And you know, none of this none of this is possible without you guys. Now that we're winding down, we're getting close to the end of the video. I just I always take this moment to thank you all for watching. Um, let me know what director's cut you'd like to see next. Um, I'm excited about the new content, guys. Like I said before, I got I'm working with the Travel Channel again. I got some big things coming up there, um, so stay tuned for that. And I I, I can't wait to share the details with y'all, but. Um, Consider joining Patreon and the members. I upload content there a lot. Um, it helps fuel the channel. And guys, don't forget to stay spooky.